Balenciaga's on my feet, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. I got these pointers, neck and wrist, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. I'm always fresher than the rest, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. Since '96, I'm in this game, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. Balenciaga's on my feet, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. I got these pointers, neck and wrist, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. I'm always fresher than the rest, stay in. Oh boy, fresh. Since '96, I'm in. Welcome to another episode of No Cap Reacts. I'm your man Bailey, aka Mr. Go Get Him. And I'm back with another video. Yeah, I've been going, I've been MIA. But such is life. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna explain. Cause I don't care. Y'all gotta understand this is a hobby to me. This is what I do when I get bored. This is a... Uh, I had a lot of things in life going on. A lot of things taken care of. And honestly, I have goals. And YouTube is not one of them. But I did just watch a video that was absolutely hilarious. And it was more funny just because of the fact that it was actually true. It is really based off of some things that really happen in the world uh, of dating uh, here in the now. So I decided to go ahead and make a video of the video that I saw. Uh, I just kind of got overdoing. I won't say got over. So again, I used to do music. Um, and I'm no longer an artist and involved in the music industry uh, in a lot of different ways. The ways that I am, I'm very much so in control of. And just sitting around doing reactions to a lot of music videos. It's cool and it's fun, but I don't want to be known as like the reaction channel that is reactions to music. You got a ton of those out there. Um, in the meantime, like in between time, I do a lot of stuff on like dating and relationships. And that's cool, but I'm kind of burnt out on that too. That's what this video is about, but it's because it's hilarious. I really want to get to... I'm really figuring out what I want my channel to be. At the end of the day, I'm figuring out what I want my channel to be. I just want to have fun and enjoy what I'm doing. And if I decide not to do a video for a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, I, literally, that's just what I'm going to do. Because I don't care. This isn't my my livelihood. This isn't my my... Yeah, I make money off of it, but do I really care about the money that I make off of it? It's like all the other money I care. I really don't care. Everything I do, I do for my for my kids. But I'm not going to sit here and give you guys the whole breakdown and spiel. At the end of the day, I'm back right now, and I got another video. And to me, this shit is hilarious as hell. A lot of you dudes are going to be able to relate to this. Some of you, probably not. Um... I mean, I'm 42 years old, so what I know to be as dating and what you know to be as dating is two totally different things. But this shit's called Dating Then Versus Now. This video is absolutely what I say. It is hilarious. This video is hilarious. But let's get to the video. Sup dorks, it's your boy Rhino. This video is called Dating Then Versus Now. Back in the olden days, years ago, things were simple, people weren't argumentative, people were agreeable, everything was sunshine and roses. Nowadays, it's arguments and bullshit and crap you gotta deal with. So, let's get straight to it. Scheduling the date. This how shit went back in the olden days. Hey, Skylar, I was just checking to make sure you're still good for the brunch date this afternoon? Yeah, we're still on. I'll see you at three. I'm really excited to meet you. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'm excited to meet you too. Well, I'll see you soon. All right. See you soon. 
soon. Cool. All right, bye. This is really how it be nowadays. Hey, I was just making sure we were still on for our little brunch thing today at noon. See, uh, you're gonna hate me, but can we postpone it? Like, maybe next week or the week after that? Oh, damn. I, I made, like, a reservation for the thing, and I kind of been pushing it back, like, for the past month, so... But the thing is, I don't have a fish sitter, and I need to walk the fish today, so I just can't... You said you, had a, you need someone to watch your fish? Well, I'm just saying, if you don't want to, like, hang out, it's all... So, this one is... This one hits home because I've seen this happen. I've seen my... I've seen a dude in my crib, hyped up, ready to go on his date. And this is exactly what happens. Understand, for my guys, y'all need to understand something. If you go into a woman's DM, she's got hundreds of, of people in her DMs trying to holler at her. So, they gonna make up some BS story because honestly, she found something more enticing to do. Whether it was another dude or it's always funny. The same women that scream and holler, I want to be in a relationship. Oh, I'm going out with my girls. Like, your girls ain't making you happy. That's why you're unhappy. <laughs> it's like, it literally happens. It's called an abundance mind frame, thought process, abundance living. But they have men coming to them and at them in an abundance. Whereas we know if you go into a man's DMs, your shit's crickets. It's you sending out. It's not you receiving. So it's a little different. What people don't understand is, okay, for instance, I'm a businessman. Pretty much make money almost 24-7. You need to start following the bag, men. You need to start going after that and let women just come. If a woman, if women is your motivation, you're never, you're never going, you're never going to win, nor will you find a quality woman. The reason that I say that is if you are just out living your life and doing your thing, they're going to pay attention. Whether they like it or not, they're going to pay attention. And when they pay attention, that's when you're going to win because now they're vying for your time. You're not going out of your way vying for their time because we all know for the most part you're paying you're making the plans you're doing like this video is why this video is hilarious because it shows exactly what it is which is why a lot of men really need to change their thought process because <laughs> it's not the women that's in the wrong it's the men because you allow this bullshit to happen you still chase them Y'all sense of humor. That's how it used to be. How do you get a fat kid to lose weight? How? You pay the ice cream truck driver to keep driving. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> no, anyway, but like I was telling you, this how it be nowadays. You pay the ice cream truck driver to keep driving. <laughs> I'm gonna just let you sit there in your silence for a minute. It's the fat shaming for me. You claim to be so loved and happy with everybody, but you're out here fat shaming children. Oh. Why do you think it's funny to be mean to others? Does that make you feel better about yourself? Are you insecure? No, I was just... It's insecurities for me. You're like really projecting your insecurities right now, and you're not going to project them onto me. That is so mean and so crude and so like disrespectful. Jokes are supposed to be funny. Did I laugh? Did I laugh? Spirituality. Okay, so that whole little scene right there, that's like Facebook. You make a post on Facebook. And that's exactly, it's like, whoa, you took this way too serious. It's not that serious. Why are you taking this so serious? Let's go. And astrology. Mm, this is back then. So I know it's only our first day and everything, but you haven't even asked me what my sign is. And it's like, whoa, whoa. Oh, I don't believe in that bullshit. Yeah. Really? No, it's all made up. I don't get why girls like that stuff. That's. Yeah, no, this is really how it be nowadays. So is so what is that? Mm. We gotta be quiet. Hold on, this is really serious actually. Mm -hmm. Just as I suspected. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty clear right now. Yeah. I know there's a lot of dudes that can relate to this because I can. And when I saw this, it for me, it was like I'm done. I'm done. What the fuck are you doing? 
That just means the spirits have a lot to tell you. Uh, values. Way back then, this is how it was. Well, I'm just very traditional. I like to follow my man's lead. I want to be able to cook for him, clean for him. Men need peace. They work so hard. I like that. So you're... Uh... When women say stuff like that, that's when they get married. Very supportive. That's a wife. Y'all don't want to hear that, but that's a wife. If you want to be like a supporter. I'm a pleaser. I just want to be that safe spot for my man. Mm, really? This is the type of shit they be doing now. So I kind of got on the dating apps because I was like, I'm looking for a girl who's going to be there to support me. Kind of, you know, going to take care of me here and there. So do you not have a job? That's why you need a woman to take care of you? I don't need anyone to take care of me. I don't need a boo for anything. I'm an independent woman. And the fact that an independent woman scares you. No, no, no. I, I was just saying. Because it's looking like it scares you. Are you scared? No, see what I was saying is like. Like it's really, really, really the misogyny for me. Uh, your, no. your girl or whatever. All right, gotta love it. She called him a misogynist. This is the misogyny for me. <clears throat> I just made a post today about that, misogyny and misandry, because people don't realize 90% of the stuff that women say is actually misandry, and 90% of the things that men say has nothing to do with misogyny. Both means the hate of man or the hate of woman. Um, you basically detest who they are, what they are. And the crazy part about it is most of the pre the preferences of women is actually misandry because the things that they request and ask for are the things that have nothing to do with a man's control, like um, height, uh, shoe size. <sighs> the fact that they tell a man he needs to make six figures in order to date with them. Those are not things that are just in someone's control because the craziest part about it is those are all things that not even you can change. You don't even make six figures. If it was really that easy for people to make six figures and be millionaires, everybody would. Uh, but this is hilarious. And yes, the term independent. People have mistaken and, and they use this word, oh, I'm an independent woman. I'm an independent woman. No, you're not. You need the electricity company to give you lights. You need the grocery store to give you food. You need the gas station to give you gas. All these things, you, you have a boss that tells you what to do at work and will fire you. Everything that you do in life requires something from someone else. So that is not independence. If anything, you are just a responsible human being who pays bills and takes care of your kids. Nothing about that is independent. And you could never be looking for a relationship or to be with someone else if you plan on being independent because that everything about that is codependency. And then you come in, just like she said, you know, I pay my own bills. Also, you want someone to support you, like pay your, okay. Everything that you're saying right now, because that's exactly what women come in and say, pay my bill. You should be paying 100% of the house note. You should be paying the bills. You should be doing this. Wow, it's amazing how your independent, your version of independence just literally went 100% out the door. You can't say you're independent and then tell a man what he needs to do for you. That's not independent. That's codependency. Um. But yeah, you say something like, I want a woman that supports me. This is exactly what it sounds like. Ladies, whether you guys know it or not, this is what you guys really sound like. And this is what we deal with. Where you want her to be is not supposed to be your mom. If you want someone to take care of you, go move back into your parents' house. New it's woman. the mommy issues for me. You want everyone and everything to... And, and that's just the crazy... That's, that's the even crazier part is... All of a sudden, people got mom issues and, you know, you need someone to take care of you, need this. That's Miss Andrew. You are literally practicing Miss Andrew. You are talking down on a man. And most of the time, it's just like this conversation. Y'all really don't listen to what we have to say. And y'all will talk shit. The comments going to be, comments probably going to be lit on this. Either lit here or lit in Facebook. Uh, or any of the, the other places where I post this. Why? Because people hate the truth. The truth is something that we're just not supposed to talk about. And men calling women out is just never supposed to happen. We're just never supposed to do that. But guess what? This ain't even my video.
but it's hilarious. You know why? It's hilarious to us as men because it's real. To do everything for you, you want everything handed to you on a silver platter. Taking turns during the conversation. This is how it used to be. So where did you grow up? I don't want to talk about me. I want to learn more about you. Oh, okay. Where did you grow up? Shoot, yeah, I grew up in uh, Southern Maryland. It's a town called La Plata. That's it's... so interesting. Shit, I mean, I guess. I want to know more. This is how it is now. My ex was literally batshit crazy. Like, they literally would only let me be inside the house. Constantly send my location. Constantly say what I'm doing, where I'm at. And it was so no, complicated. Yeah. Like, my ex still hit me up to this day it's crazy like I had to block her on all social medias and everything what are you doing like I thought we were together you know no, exactly because I had an ex but wait, who, um... but wait here's the here's the icing on top of the cup so basically I really let them walk all over me and no, I'm real. so like lost and everything no, like, it, it can be it can be so exhausting yeah like, so exhausting like it was so exhausting that's... even like getting rid of the toxicity like it was just so tiring like, always like making my listen to the buzzwords toxicity misogyny <clears throat> these are these are things that are said on a regular basis. It's like when you get someone, oh, I want to build together. No, you don't want to build together because if you want to build together, you would deal with the broke man that has nothing because you're going to be part of him building. You're moving in. You're coming to an already joined good situation. That's what you want, which is why you want a man with six figures. You can't build with someone that's already built. Orange. The end of the date, way back when. Well, I had a great time on our date today, and I definitely want to do something like this again. So I'll go ahead and walk you to your car, and I'll just text you. We could probably set something up. Wait a minute. I want to spend more time with you. Do you think we could go up to your room and chill? Oh. I mean, yeah. I don't see why not. Let's go do that. Okay. Mm, this is shit you got to expect nowadays. Yeah, I don't really see this going anywhere. I think that we're better off as friends. But yeah, I thank you for the meal. Oh. Okay, that's no problem. I guess we can have the waiter split the bill. Huh? Split the bill? Yeah, we'll just split the check. You took me out to eat and you want to split the bill. Oh, oh I just figured. Oh, again, that's exactly. Now, I'm not going to lie. That has happened, I don't know, hella, 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 hella times. Um, I've never said, hey, I'm going to split the bill. But, ladies, understand, this is why so many men choose not to take you out on a date. Why? This happens far too many times. We know the game now. You are literally out for the free meal. You're not interested in the man. It's a free meal. I figured that, because I thought it was a date, but then you said we're more like friends, which is cool. So well, I figured since like friends split the bill, we could just split the bill. Okay, it's blatantly the misogyny for me, so. There it is again, but it happens all the time. Where is the misogyny? Oh no, I'm gonna go. Oh, so I'm gonna grab my stuff and I'm gonna head out. I feel so unsafe right now, but he's handling the bill. Thank you! She says she feels so unsafe right now. They do this so much. And the crazy part is, let a woman say something, we believe them. Even as a man, I believe them every single time. I had a friend way back in the day and every relationship she got into, she would complain about how men wasn't this and men wasn't that and they wasn't shit and how they did her wrong. This is the first only and last time that I ever dated a friend. Why? Because when we actually dated, everything that she used to talk to me about and confide in me about and all the complaining she used to do, yeah, I understand why every dude left her, while every dude treated her like shit. She wasn't shit. And I was like, you know what? <clears throat> After dating you, getting to know you and, and, and being around you, you need to fix yourself. The, I used to take your side, but now that I'm on the other side, I realize like at the end of the day, whew, you got some screws loose. Something's not, something's not firing. It's not firing on all cylinders. It's going to be a long time before you actually keep a man because the things that you do are absolutely crazy. But this video hits so many things on the head. I'm probably going to do, if I can find some more, some things like this, because to me, they're just hilarious. I'm, I'm, I'll do a, 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 a video. <laughs> So, yeah, that was the video. Let me know what y'all think. Um, I need something like this. It's just a little bit more fun. It's out of the regular. It's out of the norm. Um, 
absolutely hilarious to me. Absolutely hilarious to me. And it's hilarious because it's it's true. It's honest. It's real. It's what people are going through nowadays. And as I see what is happening more and more, uh, the older I get, the more I do things, the more people that I talk to, the more people that come to me, you see it on men and women. Um, because women go through the exact same things too. The difference is there aren't very many videos out here for women dating. Why? Because again, men throw themselves at you guys. You guys don't have to, you don't need dating advice. The advice you actually need is the advice that some of these podcasts try to give you and y'all don't like that advice. Um, but hey man, hit the like button, subscribe, comment. Good or bad, I appreciate it all. Uh, I'll keep doing some videos, and as I find things, look, feel free to hit me up and say, hey, you know, try this out, look this up. I'll do it. I actually do it. Because nine times out of ten, if I ain't got nothing to do, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm about to be off until next year. So you're probably going to get a couple of videos. With that being said, I'm your man Bailey, aka Mr. Go Get Him. This is another episode of No Cap Reacts. I'm out.